Hey everybody and welcome back to Low Carb Crazy. Today we went to a favorite place that we haven't been to in a while since like trying to go low carb again. But um, we went to Bubba Coos. Bubba Coos Burritos. Bubba Coos Burritos are awesome. So stay tuned if you want to see what we got. Okay, so Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New it's Year. It's been a crazy 2020, so hopefully 2021 has much better things to offer us. Yes, but, well, <laughs> actually, so far, both have been crazy, but let's hope that it gets yeah. better from here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New us. Year. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us, hanging out. And we're back for another keto mukbang. <laughs> this is how you grab napkins. And yeah, they were, they were hard to pull out of that little dispenser. Uh, but at least I have them. <laughs> okay. Well, I got one here if I need. All right. So, um, you saw a little bit of how it was made before we started this. So, um, mine was made the same way, only I, I picked different ingredients on mine. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's stuck to the top. Wow. Show them that. Oh, that does look like there's a <laughs> that that thing is packed. It looks like there's a lot of good stuff in there. Wow. Yes, it It'll has be full from that low carb olives and cheese. I used um sriracha ranch. Mmm. And on mine, I got lettuce. Uh, the base is lettuce. So it's basically a salad with with protein on it and uh, and fats. So uh -huh. um, where's the forks? Yeah, one of the great things about um, these burrito places where you can go and just pick what you want. This way you can select the ingredients to remain keto or low carb. Mm -hmm. um, and they're going to ask you, do you want rice, you want this? And you're like, well, I'm going to do keto, a low carb thing. And then they're like, oh, well, then you want to just starting to catch on because uh, people do this. And they're like, oh, you want that on a bed of lettuce then? And, and then they know some of the ingredients. And you can choose your ingredients and make a really good keto burrito in a bowl keto burrito. A, a keto burrito keto burrito that's what it is it's a keto burrito yeah without the burrito and there's plenty of food as you can see we are not i'm gonna scrape this cheese back on my sure, salad but here. there might basically you're skipping the rice and beans even though i like rice and beans but it's very high in carbs but you can see there's plenty of food and here is my keto burrito I got the pulled steak and she got pulled pork. Oh yeah, pulled pork. She got more meat than I did. <laughs> but I guess, you know. I got pulled pork. Um, that's what it looks like. This is gonna be really delicious. So, let me just take a bite of that pulled pork. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. All right, let me show them what's going on here. Whoa. 
Aww. Don't make a mess. <laughs> well, we'll try not to. But so if you guys are hungry and want to eat a keto snack, go ahead and grab something and enjoy with us. Yeah. So here we are in the middle of winter. Uh, it's a chilly day, but not too bad. It's actually very nice and sunny. If it was like dark and cloudy, we wouldn't be doing this today. It was a nice sunny day, so on our way home, we figured, let's do it. We gotta eat anyway. So we're back in action. What do they call this again? The, re the Salsa. No, she didn't say it. Call it salsa. She called it something else. Picante? Salsa picante? Pico de, I don't uh, know. Anyway, oh, there's pico de gallo. A little bit of tomatoes in this Pink. one. Pico, de, ga I, it pico was de gallo. Cilantro, onions, tomatoes, and peppers to make it spicy. And um, I got sriracha mm. ranch on here. Sriracha ranch. I wanted a little kick to mine. Mm, and pulled steak is good. Mm. I wish they had put a little bit more of the pulled steak on there. It was a little, you know, was, mm, there's some, but it was a little skimpy. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's expensive or... It's really good, guys. Mm. Sometimes if you're just a little bold and say, hey, I'm hungry, could you put a little bit more on there? Like, and then you never know, but I didn't want to say anything. Well, they're only allowed to give you so much. Hey, if you don't ask, you don't get. I always say politely ask in a way that's kind of non-threatening. And if they're not comfortable doing it, no problem. Like, you know, don't never put up a, you know, like a big deal about it. Mm -hmm. So that tell us in the comment boxes below, how were your holidays? How, how were your New Year's for each of you? Um, what kind of New Year resolutions? And I don't like the word resolutions, but you know what I mean, <laughs> right? What kind yeah. of New Year resolutions do you have? Anything for diet? Anything for exercise? Anything for your personal life? Spiritual development? Anything, uh, you know, with, um, you know, learning new things, reading, what it, you know, whatever it is that you want to do for the new year, we'd like to know about it. And that would be really cool. Comment below. What is your New Year's resolution? I don't have one. I think mine is just to stay positive. <laughs> <laughs> That's my New Year's resolution. Like to stay as to positive stay as positive possible. And to try to have faith over fear. Because these have been weird and scary and uncertain times. Yeah. We must have faith over fear. So right. that is what I'm trying to get into. Yeah. And it's I find it harder than it used to be. Well, everything is scary gonna, now. Yeah, it's, but we're going to get there. Yeah, very scary. We got these because they're, um, they're no sugar, unsweetened. Yeah, highly recommended, guys. This particular type of iced tea is really good quality, really good mm -hmm. stuff. If you find that on sale or you can get it on Amazon or some kind of order, whatever it is, we've had seen it on sale at like supermarkets. The Pure Leaf, Pure Leaf Unsweetened Tea. And you can put some stevia in there if you Very want. Very good. Mm, down the hatch. Somebody has to pack more stevia. Mm hmm. It's almost like a big salad. Mm hmm with meat, big protein. Mm. Mm. That was a big bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what, as is typical with most burrito places, do you ever notice or even something like Chipotle, you want to order extra like avocado or extra guacamole. Yeah, it's really they had guacamole like, in there, but it was really pricey. It's, it's, it's expensive. I mean, just just to yeah, put a this squirt, was already twenty six dollars. Just to put a, put a squirt of guacamole on there is like a couple of bucks. Just for I mean, and I'm and I couldn't have justify that even though I really wanted it because I know it's good. You get the healthy fats. So if you got the coin, get the guacamole. Of course, mm -hmm. she's actually made guacamole at home a couple of times, and it was very inexpensive. To make it homemade and it was Yummy. out of this world <laughs> and we just just bought a bag of organic avocados on sale at like mm -hmm. aldi or something like that and made uh the guacamole and it was just phenomenal she is a wonderful low carb chef and doesn't and doesn't realize it if i could just stick to low carb all the time that'd be great but I, I do have trouble with sticking to low carb lately. Um, 
I want to get back on the low carb deal. But I'm having a hard time, guys. Really am. Yeah. Slightly addicted to sugar again. Mm. And it's causing problems with my weight. So how much does out of the ordinary levels of stress and anxiety impact what's going on with your diet habits, like what's going on with um, mm. avoiding carbs and sugar? What, what's, what do you say is happening in regards to that? Well, for you, I could say the extra stress, the added stress, I definitely want something to make me feel better. Mm. And I always use food as like a way to make me feel better. And mm. I know people use cigarettes or drinking or, you know, like whatever outlet that people use. Um, for me, it was, it's, it's food, you know, mm -hmm. junk food. Mm. Especially what? Especially sweets and potato chips. Yeah, for me it's like sweets, potato chips. Uh, yeah, just junk foods. You know, ice cream, chocolate is a big one. Um, other than that, I could stay with the keto meals. Like I can eat keto breakfast, lunch, and dinner, no problem. But I just I've been wanting those snacks. There are keto uh, desserts I can make, but it's just not. It, they're just not hitting the spot for me right now, and that's the problem. Even though I think they're very sweet, and I like the keto desserts. Mm -hmm. But okay. you actually experience some type of pleasure or some type of, like, mm -hmm. little high mm -hmm. off of the sugar and starches. Yes. And that's why you keep going back to it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people experience the kind of dopamine, dopamine release or that blood sugar hit to the brain. Yes. I, I can't say that I've noticed that for myself. I just enjoy... The taste of some of these desserts and chips and things like you know the flavors are really wonderful but i don't get that that hit actually sometimes from eating a lot of fat i feel that hit like if i had like a really fatty steak like i'd feel like a high afterward yeah i'm a little jealous of yeah, you yeah yeah so like so I, so keto is like fun for me mm -hmm. but for her it's kind of torturous it's, it's, it's problematic <laughs> and to me like if you use stevia and monk fruit to sweeten desserts Mm -hmm. I find that to be a great sweetener and plenty sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, sometime, and you like it, but sometimes you're just looking mm -hmm. for something more. Mm -hmm. Something that has not only more intense sweetness, yes. but also to get that, that blood sugar and that dopamine hit going up to your... That's really what it is your, about, yeah. I think, because I, I still eat the... I still eat like the stevia chocolate bars and stuff like that. I still like them, mm -hmm. but they don't... They don't give me that thing I, I'm looking for, you know? There's just something missing. Mm -hmm. But um, I would like to get to where I can get off of those bad things. Eat some healthier foods. How's your beef? You got the pulled beef. How was that? Oh, it, it is good. Yeah? But just not enough. Okay. Not enough, but it is good. I like it. Mm. I got the pulled um, pork. Mm-hmm. It's just a little messy looking, but it's delicious. It's really, really good, guys. It has really good flavor. The pulled pork. Mm. I'm gonna have. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's. I should have gotten that instead. That is so good. Mmm. <laughs> Your wife has good taste. <laughs> if you have a Bubba Coos burritos, get the pulled pork. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of you might not have Bubba Coos burritos in your area. They're very good. I think compared to other burrito places, they're no more expensive. The ingredients is very fresh. Most of the places have very good customer service. And like I said, you get to make your own thing by choosing your own ingredients. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with things like that, for keto, very helpful. Put my stevia in my... This is very nice lettuce. The lettuce, the lettuce is very fresh. Plenty of lettuce. Roma fresh romaine lettuce looks really uh, terrific. Tastes really good. Yeah, it looks... It was definitely washed. Um, very good lettuce, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fresh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were both serious. Yeah, we talked about. No, I'm, I'm not into 
artificial sweeteners, I like the natural ones. And I really like Stevia liquid drops. If you can find them, especially made by the Sweet Leaf brand, that's the best. Stevia liquid drops. And they even come in not just plain, but all kinds of flavors. Yeah. If you want to put that in your coffee. So then, and it, and it really does flavor your coffee very well. Yeah. Uh, or desserts, really good stuff. You got to check that out. Um, but I think out of all the artificial sweeteners, Splenda does seem to be the best tasting. Uh, out of, out not of, for me. For, in, in my I opinion. actually like Sweet Low Butter. <laughs> really? Yeah. And that's one of the old ones. It's uh -huh. been around forever. Uh, but I, I think Splenda has the best taste. Yeah. It, in my in my opinion. But I know other people might have. I like opinions. Sweet Low because you don't need as many of them. I need like three Splendas where I only need one Sweet and Low. Sweet and Low is strong. Very sweet. Yeah, for me, one would one would, would be adequate. But... Some people have a stronger sweet tooth. Uh, some people like sweet things, but not too sweet. I think a lot of the desserts are- My problem are, is like, I like sweet stuff. For example, like Ben and Jerry's ice cream is so wonderful, it's to die for, right? But it's just actually too sweet. And that's kind of like what ruins it. If it was just a little less sweet, in my opinion. They say and better. what I noticed is they, they, of course they have sugar in it, but the last two years I've been looking at the ingredients, like in Ben and Jerry's, for example, and they actually, they actually say liquid sugar so that one it's they have sugar and then they say something along the lines of liquefied sugar as well as another like added i'm just like wow and it's like really i mean it's over, like almost overpoweringly sweet but their ice creams are <laughs> are amazing though in general i mean just uh, there was a movie series as a young person was very special to me and it was so awesome that they came out with this tv show and I'm glad it's only like rated PG-13, not some crazy... On Netflix. Rated R or Beyond R thing. Yeah, on, and it was started out on YouTube, and now it is on Netflix. The Karate Kid uh, spinoff called Cobra Kai. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a really cool spinoff. All of the old actors, mm -hmm. they're all almost 60 years old now. Can you imagine? I mean, you can't imagine it, but... And they're all still great actors, and it's mm -hmm. great to see them all together you know, in this whole dramatic theatrical story that's really cool for both teenagers and adults all at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's really popular. I love Johnny's character. Yeah, Johnny, the actor. It's funny, you hate him when you watch the Karate Kid movies, but then like and now when you, you... But now you love him and feel, and you feel for him. Yeah, now you, you see like he's grown up and he's had such a tough life afterwards. And you're rooting, and you're rooting for him to be successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really neat. I'm... Ralph Macchio, is that his name? Mm -hmm. The guy who plays uh, Daniel mm -hmm. LaRusso. He um, he does a really good job mm -hmm. uh, with his character as well. Oh, yeah. And now they're they're both good guys, you know, pretty much. I don't um, want to give anything away, but... They started out with a very <laughs> rough relationship when they bumped into each other with different situations. And it's interesting how it all unfolds. Mm. Don't give it away. <laughs> yeah, but we don't want to give any spoiler alerts. Mm -mm. Yeah, spoiler alert. We don't want to give any spoilers. Yeah, so. But yeah, I mean, if you're into that, check it. If not, don't worry about it. But I'm saying if you're into it, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's a good show. You look lovely today. Thank you. <laughs> you did a wonderful job in church today with your you. singing of the worship music with the team. It was, really, it was really powerful, really wonderful. I tried. It's hard when it's just me and Pastor. It's very uplifting. Yeah, both of you were terrific, though. One thing that's annoying about the salad, though, is all the water on the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's tons of water down here. So we can't show them without pouring it on the car. I'll try. <laughs> that's good. I can see it. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot of water down there. But the salad itself is good, and I'm loving this pulled pork. It's delicious. <laughs> so you know how three years ago when I started up the actual serious ketogenic diet and I lost 70 pounds doing that and I've kept it off yep. for the most part. Yep. Well, guess what? I'm considering going on a weight loss journey to lose even more weight. As my doctor said that I should get down to close to 200 pounds. I was up to, I mean, I got really huge. I was always thin, but I was up to 315 pounds mm -hmm. at one time. Yeah. And now I'm somewhere between 345 and 350. Mm -hmm. um, after the holidays, with all the holiday eating, maybe I'm even over 350 because there's been a lot of. <laughs> you still weighs less than me. 
<laughs> I wasn't going to reveal that. And no, and not by much. They know, Only a couple I pounds. showed them. Only a couple pounds. Well, they know how much I weigh. I, I showed know. them. She enjoyed, she enjoyed marrying a big bloated teddy bear uh, eight years ago when we got married or whatever. Uh, and now you missed that, you say. I miss I the teddy bear. Why, but I'm sorry, but the teddy bear's got to be healthier, man. I got my, I got back pain. I, I got medical. I don't know what it is. I, I always, I always kind of liked husky men, not, not skinny. You well, know? it's a good thing you're already in love with me. So if I lose weight, you're I like still men me. with you a little like, meat like on their husky bones. Men. You know. I mean, I'll still be big. I'm not going to be like I small like, and I like scrawny. the muscle and the fat. Both. I mean, like say <laughs> if I get down at 210 pounds, I'm, st I'm that, I'm still would be a big guy at 210 pounds. It's not like I'm going to be. No, like a 140 pound skinny dude. No, you know, but... ah, you can handle. It. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. <laughs> hey, I love you in all your forms and shapes. I love you. You know what can I say? I'm not going to get into details, but I love you the same no matter what. what <laughs> no matter what. It, no matter what it is, I love you the same. So what you wanted to say was you loved me when I was very thin, for me, and I then. Wasn't... And you no. love me when I'm as thick as I am now. No, I was just, I was just going I to... I think you love me more now that I'm thicker. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> In some ways. <laughs> no, I love you more simply because every day, you know, being married, being in love, I just, you, know, you just love somebody more and more. That's all. <laughs> that's all okay. that, that's all that is really. I understand. No, it's just like, I'm, how I feel is... I was already in love, so just because somebody gains weight or loses weight, for me it doesn't change the status of being in love. Which is nice, because a lot of men aren't like that. So there's some men out there that would leave their girl if they gained like five pounds. But not, but not all men. Some, but not but all men. There are some really shallow people out there. But And women too would leave a guy for just having some kind of coming down with some problems and developing a deficiency true you true. put up with a lot of my fault a lot of my faults and problems and stuff like that and i appreciate that well you... that's that's the thing about being a couple is we put up with each other yeah put up with each other with all it's... of our good points all of our bad points putting up with each other is definitely a mutual thing <laughs> yeah well you give a little you take yes, a little and enjoying each other's positive points is also a mutual thing yeah and you know i think in relationships it's important to never lose sight of why you liked the person to begin with and never lose sight of what are the good things, what are the positive things, and what are the great and amazing things that you love about that person. Don't forget about them. Sometimes we just get burned out and frustrated and also frustrated with life in general. And then we forget about those positive things about our partner. And don't forget those things. They they keep you you know they keep you going they keep you happy here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and nobody's perfect. No. There's nobody's perfect. There's no one perfect. No, not even one. Mm -hmm. There's people who pretend to be perfect, that they think that they know what perfect is, but there is nobody that's perfect. And we're all human. We all make mistakes. We all are not perfect. Yeah. Um, we're imperfect beings. Yeah, and we've talked about this. I mean, don't get us wrong. We learn from our mistakes. Absolutely. We're pretty filling. Well, our food. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, it was twenty-six dollars though, guys. So. No kidding. Maybe I shouldn't. And have I didn't get any guac guacamole. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten the steak. Maybe they like. Maybe they charge really high for that. I don't know. I should have gotten the pork, right? <laughs> I don't know. To be more budget friendly. I, I, just, I just never saw pulled steak before. Oh, really? It's the same price. Oh, okay. The protein is a protein. But I don't know if you can see this. There's like a lot of water in here. That's probably from when they washed the lettuce and it just had a lot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Actually, you spilled, it, you spilled it right on a napkin, so that's good. Sorry. Good shot. <laughs> All right. To the new year. May we be happy, healthy, year. and... May I finally lose weight, but if not, at least I'll be healthy. <laughs> and if you lose weight, may it be done in a healthy way. Amen. Amen. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. What they don't know is between takes. We did it backwards. <laughs> I know, right? We should have cheers first. What they don't know is between takes. 
um, I went I had some stuff and I made like a little Long Island iced tea and put two liqueurs in there as you know I'm a little anxious after a day like this and I wanted to chill out a little bit Just you like a Long Island iced tea no I think you could use one I'm just kidding. No, no liquor in the car because you can't have open bottles of liquor in the car. No. It's illegal, and you would get probably in some very big trouble if you got pulled over. <laughs> so, no. But do I wish it could be a Long Island iced tea? Maybe when we were home with nothing to do, with how much anxiety there's been lately. Sure, why not? <laughs> no sugar added. <laughs> So thank you everybody for joining us for this keto mukbang yes. and um, we love you guys. Please uh, be sure to leave some comments below if you have any suggestions for future videos. Just let us know mm -hmm. and have a wonderful happy new year yes. and whatever you do, do, do it, it well. well. Bye guys. Bye. God bless. <laughs>